Hello and welcome! Today I'm gonna show you these interesting little gadgets which from the first look might seem like an ordinary lures, but that is not the case. In this video I will show you why these are not just simple lures and tell you about the research which was made by University of Michigan about the responses of several species to different wavelengths. Before I begin, you can like or dislike the video as your opinion really matters to me and you can also subscribe to the channel if you would like to support it and see more fishing gadgets like these and know how to use them. I publish my videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. What I have here is a deep drop underwater lures. I've actually bought two of them, one smaller and one bigger by mistake. But I'm not really bothered about it as I can show you two instead of one. I'll put the links in the description if you would like to have a look at the price. The length of the bigger one is 2.5 inches or 63 millimeters and the smaller one 0.4 inches or 10 millimeters. The bigger one is powered on with CR927 battery and the smaller one I'm not entirely sure, but it does not really matter as in any case you will not be able to replace the battery. By the way, the lifespan of a battery is about 400 hours, which in my opinion is more than enough. As you can see, it has an imitation of a fish's eye on the top and on the bottom we can see the chip and these two little wires sticking out. I'm not entirely sure if you will be able to see them as they are very small. Same is on the smaller lure. The LED light is built in into the chip. These lures are mainly designed for bottom fishing in offshore and inshore. You can fish with them in the same way as with spoons or casting jigs and they work extremely well at night or in musky freshwater. Some say that they are very effective while ice fishing. Let me turn off the big lights and put these lures into the water to see what happens. As you can see, the LED light is triggered automatically when these lures hit the water. I've done my research on the reasons why the green and other lights attract fish. The University of Michigan had researched the responses of several species of zooplankton to different wavelengths and intensities of light. According to their findings, zooplankton respond differently to different wavelengths and intensities. In particular, they tend to swim down to avoid bright light wavelengths less than 5000 angstroms. And they tend to swim upward in response to lights with wavelengths more than 5000 angstroms. They've tested different colors like green, red, yellow, orange and white. As a result, green light travels much further than the other lights and is most effective at attracting a concentration of zooplankton which is the main food choice of small baitfish. As you know, the predators are where the baitfish is, so these glowing lures should increase your chances of catching predators like bass, trout or pike for example. Honestly, I can't wait till I'll put them to the test when the weather will be a bit better and see for myself if the green light really attracts bait fish or not, as I'm a very curious person. I wanted to show you these glowing lures as I've only found out myself about 3 years ago that the green lights attract bait fish and you might not know it yet. If you have any questions or suggestions, what would you like to see on my channel, leave a comment under the video and I'll try to reply to all of them and I really hope that the time you've spent watching this video was useful. I would also recommend you visiting fishmatpro.com website where I share information about different fish species, lines, reels, rods and a lot of other stuff. 
thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.